Guys, before we actually start this video, if you don't know, I actually got partnered with Epic Games and they're hooking your brother up. Guys, create a supporter is now a thing. If you go down to the item shop and you go to the bottom right, support a creator, click on that, type in your boy's name, exotic motion underscore YT, and then you guys are going to be able to hit accept. Over here at the top right, it says creator supported exotic motion underscore YT. Take a picture of this or this right here and tweet me it. I will go ahead and retweet it and I'm picking a winner to give you guys free V-Bucks. All you gotta do is tweet me that's all you got to do it it shows support to your boy and i would appreciate that more than anything The two time, better than one time, you feel? Back to back, get out of my game, kid. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom Breedy, guys. Another video. In today's video, I'm going to try to attempt Tfue's trick shot that he hit, I think, last night or the other night. You guys seen the, the clip already at the start of this video, but that was insane. He actually hit it twice. He hit it once, got a hit marker. The dude fell off the mountain, went down low, and then built his own ramp, and then he hit it again, which is insane. I'm only going to try to hit it once because hitting it two times in a row is going to be extremely difficult, and I'm going to rate this trick shot on a difficulty level. Wait, that's, that's not really the Word, on a skill level basically one being a very easy trick shot and 10 being the hardest trick shot you can ever hit now again we're only going one through ten so don't judge me on my ratings because i only have this big of a window to rank it in now if i was going to one to 100 i can actually be more specific but we're only doing one to ten so basically the person's over there if you guys don't know i have another person i'm in playground first thing i need to learn is how did he did the freaking backflip guys i've never attempted any backflip on this thing i've never attempted it so again i'm starting from scratch like this is learning it and attempting to do it and mastering it all in one video you guys and i'm gonna try to do it it's gonna be entertaining so starting off i know that i have to hit the ramp but see i went forward he went like straight he went straight backwards so i gotta learn how to go straight backwards instead of forward so i think oh, okay you gotta hold the space bar okay that's how you do it and then you switch seats switch your gun out okay okay i think i got it you guys but my quad car is about to get destroyed which sucks so basically what you want to do if you guys are going to attempt this at home you want to try a backflip all you got to do really is just hold the space bar down or hold the, the acceleration boost down so that way you can actually get momentum not just to go forward but to also keep going to a complete backflip so for instance like this and then i got to switch seats oh shoot my thing wasn't charged up rookie mistake all right he charged it up and then he went and he switched seats no no okay okay my thing got destroyed i gotta go find a new one all right all right this is this is pretty difficult i'm not gonna say this is the easiest trick shot ever already off to a crazy start just because think about it the skill level to do this first try without practice like i'm in playground where i can attempt it as many times as i want tifu just saw the opportunity did it and made it happen like that that takes some skill so already off the bat we're already at a five we're already at a five skill level so this is this is a hard trick shot and i know you guys are like five that's it that's way harder than five guys it's just it's just a base rating we're gonna get difficult more and more difficult the more i learn about it all right now i gotta go all the way back there and then hopefully we can do it by the time limit all right we're back now i think the next thing i gotta learn after i do the backflip because i think i have the backflip down is to switch seats and have my sniper out okay so it's just an easy one click button you click a button and it's already out i can't do anything else if i hold anything i grab onto the back seat so i cannot push left or right or anything like that the second i switch seats i gotta just hit my shot okay so that's that's not too difficult all right now let's do this backflip let's do this trick shot man i think i think we can hit it right here you guys ready and we're doing a no skin just for the tfue because you guys you know tfue doesn't have any skins so we got to represent oh 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 boy Oh man, this is this is gonna be difficult, guys. I think I might have to up my sensitivity. I don't know what sensitivity Tifu plays on, but when you're aiming down your sights, you're gonna need a high sensitivity mouse scope sensitivity. Yeah, I play on three four, which is really low. So I'm gonna try five one. Let me see. Let me see how hard this is. Oh, it's pretty quick, but I can get used to it. Yeah, cause I play on three point three four or something like that, and that's way too low to hit a trick shot while like cruising like that. You feel me? All right, here we go. What is this? Attempt number like five or something? Let's let's hit it right here. I have faith. Woo! We 
hit it, boys. We actually hit it. Okay, okay. So let's see if we can do it two times in a row. We reload our gun. And then we hit it again. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness, dude. Yo, that trick shot is insanely fun to do. You guys, go practice this. Honestly, this is probably one of the funnest trick shots. It's not that difficult. So, Tfue, yo, congrats for actually doing it. Number one, I can't say that Tfue didn't do a hard shot. That shot is extremely hard just because, number one, to set this up in a game to actually have a hill and a ramp, and then to think about it, yo, I'm going to do a backflip back flip and snipe this guy. That is insane, man. That's a lot of, like, creativity in this. So, Tfue, props to you. Out of a skill of 1 to 10, though, just being honest on how hard this trick shot is to hit, um, I'm honestly going to have to give it a 6 or 6 or 7. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be mad thinking that I'm saying Tfue's bad and I'm doing it in playground and stuff like that. Guys, I'm not saying Tfue's bad. Tfue is a god at this game. I respect him completely. But I'm saying I'm not the best trick shotter in the world. I'm probably not even one of the top 1,000 trick shotters. In the world. I don't even trick shot. And I'm out here doing this, this Tfue shot, which it was insane, man. It, it looks amazing. It looks fun. And it's actually fun to hit. It feels good when you hit it. Now, where'd my quad crasher? Go. All right, you guys, we're going to do this one more time for all you at home to see. This is actually a really fun trick shot. So we're going to switch. Let's actually start with the pickaxe and then switch over to the sniper midair. Oh, I forgot I got rid of it. All right, here we go. Woo! With the headshot, man. Yo, it feels extremely good hitting this trick shot you guys so now let me teach you how it's done so basically once you're in the quad crasher or anything like that if you have a hill in front of you first i'm going to teach you how to do the backflip first thing you want to do is just go up to the hill right when you hit like about right here on the hill like kind of like towards the top part of the hill that's when you're going to want to actually hit your boost and hold down your boost while you hold back as if you're trying to run backwards switch seats hold out your sniper and just take the shot you guys very easy if you don't know how to switch seats that's this is probably going to be a hard thing so basically you're doing the backflip practice with learning the backflip you're going to have to get a new quad crasher because i think like three tries then it's over for your quad crasher and it gets destroyed so practice your backflips anywhere you don't have to do it here you can do it anywhere and then work on switching seats and not holding left or right or up or down because the second you push any of those when you switch seats oh you can bunny hop what the heck oh that's cool look at that but yeah, if you switch seats and you hold any of these buttons, you're going to end up holding the back seat until you let go of it for a few seconds. Then she'll let go of it. So again, it's going to be a little bit difficult if you do that. So the second you switch seats, don't push anything else. Don't move or anything. Just aim. That's all you're doing is you're zooming down and you're aiming and you're hitting the shot. All right, guys, we're going to end it with one last try. All right, one last attempt. This is for you guys. Woo! Let's go, baby. And again, when you're leading your sniper shot, you don't have to lead it at all. Like, if you guys know there's bullet drop and stuff like that. From this distance, you don't really have to lead it. Like, if someone's running, you have to lead it a little bit. So that way they run into the bullet and there's bullet drop. But in trick shots and stuff like that, I find a lot of the times when it's close like this, you do not have to lead your shot. If you just have your scope right on the person, you'll most likely hit them. So, like, for instance, right here, I'd have to lead it in order to hit him just because he's dropping and stuff like that. But if you have momentum and you're moving, there's no reason for you to actually have to line up your shot or anything like that. You literally just, just hit it right on this person's forehead. Like this, boys. I'm gonna try it in. Just because this trick shot is really fun. This trick shot is extremely fun, guys. But thank you guys so much for if you guys want to submit me some trick shots over on Twitter, it doesn't have to be your trick shots, it could be anyone that you've seen do. I will attempt it and rank it out of a one of ten system of how hard that trick shot actually is. Now keep in mind I am doing it in playground, so it's making it a little bit more easier for me because I get to actually practice it. These guys are actually hitting these trick shots on the spot, so they're very creative for it. But guys, if you please can, if you enjoyed this video, I want to make a series out of this. Give this video a thumbs up, share this with your friends, and then hopefully we could do stuff like this, maybe where I just impulse nade. No scope hit it, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. It's really hard to actually hit no scopes with. Look at this. I will attempt a no scope. See, no scope trick shots are probably the luckiest thing ever. Because look, this looks pretty smack center, right? If I zoom in, it's right on his head. It missed. You know, it's really hard to hit your, your shots with a bolt action. A hunting rifle is a little bit more easier. But let me even get closer. Watch how hard it is even if I get closer. So if I'm right here, that's smack center in the middle. Look at that. It missed. It barely missed him. All right, we're going to aim at his body. Actually, let's have him turn around for us so he's more squared up. Right for the chest. You ready? 
still miss, man. That's why these trick shots can be very difficult. If you guys send me some no scopes, they, those are going to be some, some difficult trick shots to hit. But I can do, of course, 360s. Oh, boy. Can't believe I missed that. But guys, with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.